Um, hi, we're here with Assemblymember Latanya Johnson, and she came up to the Stop the Heroin Rally, and I just would like to thank you, first of all, for coming up here and sharing your story. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself for the radio? I'm State Representative Latanya Johnson. I represent the 17th Assembly District, which is on the northwest side of Milwaukee. Um, currently, I am in my second term. Um, it's almost my third year is complete. And so this, I'm, I'm new to politics, if, okay. if that's the word to mm -hmm. use. Prior to doing this, I was a child care provider. Oh wow, that's a drastic change. It is. It's a drastic change. But it looks like you got your feet under you and you're making a difference. Well, I try. I try to get involved in areas that I, I care most about mm -hmm. and, and topics. And so getting involved in children and family issues, especially family issues, that's close to home because I did child care for 10 years. Right. So anything that I can do to make sure that our families are okay and are able are, and are able to function. I'm okay with that. That's good, and that, and that also brings you full circle. It makes you not just part of the community by being an assembly member, but you you coming out to rallies and you're showing your face and showing that there's a human side to it being in the politics. Yes, there is a human side to being in politics and more politicians need to get in touch with their human side mm -hmm. because so often we're asked to take votes or we're asked mm -hmm. to write legislation and a lot of times we have no clue as to what it does so it involves research but if you know what some of the issues are involving your community or involving other communities around the state mm -hmm. it becomes a lot easier and it's a lot easier for you to find an area that you want to work on and just go to work. Okay. And, and yes, I would imagine that does help and, and keeps you grounded because you're part of the community. You see us every day. And, and that's what I think a lot of po politicians miss. They lose track or they distance themselves, uh, probably unintentionally. But thank you for coming to help and get, spread, your, spread your story and tell us your story. Um, I was getting buzzed. I'm sorry. Um, is there is there anything that you can tell us that would maybe help us grow as a community or even as a small radio station here in Beaver Dam? I'd like to say just keep your pulse on the community. Make sure that you know what the community is concerned about, what their interests are, and report stories about that. Um, Espert, um, which is screening, brief intervention, referral, and then treatment. Mm. That bill is going to be huge for the state of Wisconsin because we know how the heroin epidemic mm -hmm. is spreading all over the state. And so you know for a fact that there are families behind those victims that are living a life of hell yes. because their family is experiencing addiction. So that's a concern for the community. And we can tell just by the rally outside that people are interested in getting help for the community. But most important, they're interested in making sure that their loved ones get the help that they need. And behind those individuals that have addictions are our kids. Right. You know, what are their kids seeing at home? Who's there to make sure that those children are okay? And when you're living in households where addiction is just a part of your everyday lifestyle, what's the intervention to make sure that those children don't follow that path? And that's something that we need to be concerned about because either way it goes, we're going to pay for this addiction. We're either going to pay for it up front by making sure that these families have the resources that they need to prevent them from getting in those situations, or we're going to pay for it on the back end, and that's going to be the treatment and services that come after they're already right. addicted. So we just want to make sure that our families are well taken care of. That is so true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking your time today, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.